Uh, my name is Brady Code. I've worked with Syngenta for 26 years. The first 20 years was in R&D. And the last six years has been in a sales support role. I actually started with Syngenta down here in the Maritimes, 86 and 87. And drove around a lot, a lot of potato fields, and learned a lot while I was down here. I'm going to talk about Performance Plus, which is centered on fungicides in potatoes. This is after you've already cut your potatoes, treated them, got them in the ground, they're off to a, a decent start. So this is like you sent your kids off to school and now they're exposed to all this stuff. What can you do to help them deal with it? And you have to start sooner than later. You, you really should start when potatoes are the size of a teapot, um, probably 80% emergence or maybe a little later than that, but still, size of a teapot. And the reason is you want to get spray in on the stems. Because once these leaves start to fill out, good luck getting to a stem. It's really hard. It doesn't matter what water volume you use, what spray pressure you use, how slow you drive. These leaves are like umbrellas. They're going to stop, they're going to catch everything before it gets to the stem. Why that's significant is these diseases, especially these three here, they can move in, get established, but they, you can't really tell they're there. And they're not really hurting your plants yet because your plants are growing like crazy and the diseases are just getting a foothold. So they're just getting established. We know how to deal with late blight. We listen for late blight. We're listening to blight casts. We know when our neighbors have it, when it's in the next county, next parish, next state, province, and we can deal with it. These diseases are kind of creeping up on us. Early blight gets established early, but it really doesn't hurt you until later. Black dot gets established early, and it really doesn't hurt you until later, but if you don't handle it early, there's nothing you can do about it later. And it's basically a doorkeeper. It creates little lesions in plants that lets other things do more damage. So while this alone isn't a deal breaker, it's something that makes little problems big problems. And then brown spot is interesting because it's often confused for early blight. Guys will spray a contact program all year and then go, how come my potatoes are turning brown? I haven't missed a spray. Now, these diseases get a foothold, and you're going along the summer, July and August. It gets hot for a couple weeks. <clears throat> Crop looks great. It's about three feet tall, bushy, you can hardly walk through it. And then it gets hot, and it starts to get a little silvery because it's stressed. The leaves that started off here are at the bottom now, you can't <laughs> see them. They're getting yellow. They're getting old. They're getting tired. This storm front comes through, good thing the drought's over, but that, this storm front releases all these spores. And they just love old, tired leaves. And that's where they start. They start at the bottom, because you probably haven't sprayed those leaves in a month. Spray just never gets there. So now they take off and start working up through the plant. And then after the rain, your crop just turns brown. And it's like, why? I had a really good spray schedule, why? because what you were using probably didn't control brown spot. So you need quadras top. And that goes on when you're listening to the weather just before that gets there, okay? Talking about quadras top, the really cool thing is it's a mix of quadras and top, and the top part is in Inspire. It's diphenaconazole as the active ingredient. Why it's a really good fit is it controls diseases at different stages. And diseases are all at a different stage in your field. It's not like this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, and this is Thursday. This could be any day of the week. All four of those stages are there. So if you're a day late and this has happened, you're still OK. So quadris helps things from, or stops things from germinating. Spore lands on a leaf that has quadris on it. Spore can't germinate. You win. You get there the day after the spore has been there. It's like, well, that's not good. Quadris can't stop it anymore. But the top part can. It can stop that germ tube. Basically, the spore dies. Then the disease gets inside the leaf, and it's about to reproduce. Quadras can't stop that. But the top part can. Then, by the time you see these little symptoms, this is what's going on. It's reproducing. It's been there for at least a week.